Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Bass, anthropologist at the University of Tennessee. We're going to talk about gunshot wounds today. The first individual here is a um, suicide. Uh, this is an entry wound to the skull, a nice round on the outside. The skull consists of three layers, and so a bullet wound leaves a cone-shaped depression so that the smaller part of the cone is on the entry wound and the smaller part of the cone is on the inside edge on an exit wound. So you can see that this is much larger than the entrance wound on the right-hand side. Um, this is a, a, a trajectory of the bullet um, entering the right side of the skull, exiting the left. You can see that this is a fairly powerful uh, large caliper weapon because of the fracture that is, extends from the entrance wound here all the way around to the opposite side. And we're going to take a look at a second individual who has not only been shot once, but has been shot twice. Obviously, this one is not a suicide. Uh, it's difficult to shoot yourself through the head and then shoot yourself again. And this is one in which you have, a, again, an entry wound on the right-hand side with an exit on the left. And then we go around the skull and you can see another bullet entry here. Uh, let me put these together for you. Uh, this is the side-to-side the -side shot. And this is from the back to the front. Now you can see uh, the trajectory of both of those bullets. It's difficult to tell in this skull which one was the first and which is the second. I happened to go to the scene in this, uh, where this individual was shot. And he was uh, forced to walk down a path in the woods. And I think the individuals that shot him shot him first from the back of the skull going out through the eye. He falls to the left side, falls down like this. And the second bullet is this one going in the right side and exiting the left. And this is the bullet that we found in the ground underneath the area when the guy uh, decayed. Now this individual is a little different from the others. You note the bullet hole above the eye orbit here. This goes in and comes out through the left side, uh, taking out the whole left side of the skull. This is a larger bullet, say 38 caliber, uh, with a lot more um, power than uh, 22 or 25. Now, this is not the only bullet wound that this individual had. Let's go to one that occurred 10 years before this one. And this is the humerus. This is the bone in your upper right arm. This would be the elbow. And note in the humerus, there's a bullet that is still in the, in the arm. This bullet was shot into the arm 10 years before this individual was killed. You can see the depression in the back of the humerus here where the bullet enters the arm, but it does not have power enough to get all the way through the bone. And so it stops and the physician in charge decided that it was better to leave the bullet in the arm, not to take it out. This indicates that this individual has been keeping bad company at least twice in his life, once when he shot in the arm, once when he shot in the head.